hooked into the back end of the website, it looks like this. Okay, so if I show you the front end as well, so you can get an idea of what it is you can change. Okay, so first things first is anything to do with the home page, you can pretty much find within custom settings. So we're going to custom setting. You can see you've got social media. That basically you can paste in your Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn link um, links, and that is for these bits here. So when you click on them, it goes to the right place. At the moment, if you click that, it will just take you to facebook.com because you haven't entered your correct Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Okay. Um, if you send me those, I'm more than happy to add those in for you. Okay. Default option, um, as you'll see here, this is for the addresses for the two places. You've got Meadowview and Connemara Lodge. And if we scroll down, you've got um, boxes for Meadowview, located just 400 yards, that's that, and you've got the picture. And you scroll down again, you've got Connemara Lodge, that's that one. And you've also got a Come and See Us box, which is that one. So within that, you can change the text, where they link to, and the image. Homepage testimonials, there's these down the bottom here. You can change that by going in there and putting in the correct text. Okay. When you're done, always click the save button. If you fail to click the save button, nothing you've done will be saved. Okay. Banner, well, that is <clears throat> quite honest, just that bit there. As you can see, welcome to your new home, our passion is looking after you. You've got your text there and also the image. So you can change the text and the image. You have to make sure the images are the correct size. The easiest way to do that is by opening up a new tab, pasting in what I've just copied there, and you'll see that is the size you need. Okay. Um, ideally, you need to have some software like Photoshop or something to resize images. Um, we then scroll down. We've got welcome. This is your welcome text. This is there. Show my villas up limited own two care homes. So just move that. There you go. Save. So you can go in there, change all of that. So for example, that spelling should be like that, for example. Just go through it, make sure that's all how you want it. Next thing you have is you have gallery setting. So your gallery setting is for these seven images. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now these images, you can either replace the ones that are there, or you can add new ones. So if you wanted them there, put in an eighth image, you call it what you want, you call it title number eight, or you just could be pick of meadow view, you can call it whatever you like. Then you browse, you have two options here, you've got media library, which is where you can use pictures already on the site, or you can upload a file straight from your computer. So if I just upload that image just to show you what it looks like. Once it's fully loaded, this little option here will, will mean you can select it. So if we click select, click save, okay, I'm going to say add pictures. Testimonials page is exactly what it says. So it's the testimonials page here. So if you go in, you've got name one, name two, name three, name one, name two, name three. So you need to go in, you need to put that, change that to whoever, Sally Jenkins, um, Meadowview staff are helpful, etc, etc, etc. Click save, always make sure you click save. And then when we refresh our testimonials page here, Sally Jenkins. Okay, next page is the gallery page. The gallery page, we scroll down, that is for this. As you can see, there's 39 images that we've added in at the moment. To add a new one, you just call it what you want, so you call it image 40. Find the image you want, add. Okay, once you've finished, see the image 40's gone in, make sure you click save. And then when we refresh our page, you can see I've added in that image there. Okay, so I'll delete that because you don't want a picture of a man soaring. Delete. 
Right, um, then the next sort of parts are all done within pages. So that's, so that's how you do your home page, your testimonials page, and your gallery page, all within that custom setting. The rest of the site you do from within pages. So if we look at About Us, for example, if we click into About Us in here, you can see we've got About Us. This is where you would add your text. This is where you would add your text. So you go in there, write all the stuff about Shamrock or whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Update, that's your save button, remember? When you refresh, you'll see it changes. Then you'll need, to, what I would do here is we've just put in a test image, um, which to be honest with you is too big. So what I would do on this, is let me just quickly show you. I would probably put in an image that was about sort of that sort of size. So if I go into Photoshop, I can create an image that's the right size. So 135 1 by 500. That's going to give me a nice blank box, which is the correct size. And then if we just use this as a, an example, I've copied the image and I'm going to paste that into my Photoshop. And then I can just stretch this image not stretch it but just enlarge it so it fills all the white because we know that's the image size that we're looking at can make it look like there we go now if I save that just to show you very quickly how that would work Oops, test image I'm going to save it as a JPEG which is the normal file size okay right now and if we go back into our about us page I want to then upload this picture that we've just done like test image. I'm going to set that as the featured image. I'm going to update my page. And then when I refresh this, you can see I've got a nice smaller image, which is what you really want. You want a nice image about that size so that you can see the text. Okay, you need to do that for every page. Um, again, um, we can go in and um, we can resize images for you. We don't mind doing that for these particular pages but again we need images from you um, the ones we've picked out you told us you didn't like in the past so it's best if you supply images okay um, okay so then you go back into your pages that's how you do about us meet the team okay so if I show you that click into meet the team you can see all we've done is I've put in a title of who's there so you can put um, Nikki Faber example you can put head of whatever the title is and then in here you can just go add media you can upload a picture of yourself or in this instance I should use the picture that I did for me so I'd be John Patrick head of development and my picture and then the next one below whoever whoever their title their picture okay so that's how that works Testimonials and gallery I've shown you. The only other pages really left to show you are Connemara Lodge and Meadow View. Now these pages are slightly different and let me show you why. So if we go into um, Meadow View, for example, let's just learn to Meadow View on here. Meadow View, there we are. Okay. You see, first things first is we have this image here, which you can replace here. Um, you have the text, which is here, which I've copied off of your brochure, which to be honest, as I said to you, your brochure is not really right. The text is on there is, is not right. The sort of text that you want here is um, at Meadow View. We've been, Meadow View opened 30 years ago with a history of helping people. It's very much more basic and general for people to have a look. And then when they click download, then they can get into the nitty gritty, if that makes sense. Um, and if we scroll down, you've got your gallery for Meadow View, that's within here, so you can uh, just add pictures to that, okay, and you've also got your address, which is there, so obviously that, that's not going to change, but if you needed to, it would be there, okay, now this is the exact same type of page that we've also done for Kanamara Lodge, you've got your main image there, you, all your text where you've got to put it and all your images for Connemara Lodge.
Okay, and then there's the uh, the address again. So that is how you make changes to the website.